Hi guys! Welcome to another episode of Learn Math with Sir Mark and on this video, I'm going to discuss the problem that I posted on my Facebook page uh, which is about GenMath intended for quarter 1, week 1. But before anything else, please don't forget to subscribe on my channel and click the bell button so that you will be notified whenever I'm going to upload a new one. So if you're ready, let's begin! Okay, so for this week, I provided uh, two problems under general mathematics in which I will I will read the second one after I finished uh, solving problem number one. So here it is. From problem number one, the function f satisfies the property f of x plus y equals f of x times f of y for all x and y which are both element of real numbers. If f of 3 equals 3, find f of 20. Okay, so in solving uh, problems like this, okay, so what we're going to do is to use what we know, what we have. Okay, so in this case, given a functional equation, okay, let me rewrite it. So a functional equation a given is f of x plus y, okay, is equal to the product of f of x and f of y. There you go. Next. So, another given is f of 3. Okay, so we must find a way how are we going to represent 3, okay, uh, using x and y. Or express x, of, x plus y dapat equal k3. So, in that case, if I'm going to let x or y equal to 2, then the other one is 1, we're going to have, okay, yung f of 3 natin can be written as f of 2, okay, plus 1. See that? Okay, following the pattern or the functional equation, so we're going to have f of 2 times f of 1. See that? Okay, so as of the moment, so nakahang lang muna tayo, so we cannot continue. Okay, so, but since nag-occur ang f of 2, okay, we might do as, uh, we might do as well uh, what we did here, k3. So, ang f of 2, we can let x and y equal to 1, so we can have f of 1 plus 1. See that? In that way, we're going to have f of 1 times f of 1. See that? And we know ang f of 1 times f of 1, alright, f of 1 times f of 1 is just f of 1 to be squared. See that? Okay, f of 1 to be squared is equal to f of 2. So, meaning to say, okay, meaning to say, this f of 2 here, this f of 2 here, okay, we can rewrite it as f of 1 to be squared. See that? Okay, so me, therefore, this one can be written as f of 1 to be squared times f of 1. See that? There you go. So, meaning to say, okay, meaning to say, so yung f of 3 pala natin can be written as f of 1, okay, raised to 3. Okay, so by law of exponent, so since product yan, same base, we just have to add the exponent, which is 2 and 1. See that? Okay, but take note, ang f of 3 natin, which is equal to f of 1 raised to 3, is equal to 3. See that? There you go. So, from here, we can have, okay, we can have yung f of 1 natin is just equal to cube root of 3, or... 3 raised to 1 third. See that? Okay, next. Now, so since meron na akong f of 1, which is 3 raised to 1 third, okay, therefore, I can rewrite this as, okay, uh, 3 raised to 1 third raised to 2. See that? Or, therefore, uh, we can have yung f of 2 natin is equal to uh, 3 raised to 2 thirds. There you go. See that? Next, take note, given. So, my, my f of 1 na ako. You already have f of 2. Then we have f of 3, which is equal to 3. And take note, ang exponent yan 1, 
that one can be written as 3 over 3. See that? Oh, from there, we can generate the pattern. Or if you want if you want to get f of 4, fine. You're going to have 3 raised to 4 thirds. Okay, so in general, okay, we can now conclude that f of x is just equal to 3 raised to x over 3. See that? There you go. So therefore, masasagutan na natin. So yung inaanap natin, okay, so yung f of 20 now can be written as 3 raised to 20 over 3. See that? Okay na yan. Or, if you want to further simplify it, we can have cube root of uh, 3 raised to 20 or 3 raised to 18 times 3 squared. And we know cube root of 3 raised to 18 is just the same as uh, 3 raised to 6 cube root of 9. And therefore, final answer natin, cube root of 6, that's 700. 29 times cube root of 9. See that? Okay, so therefore, our final answer is this. So, f of 20 is equal to 729 cube root of 9. Okay? So, let's have the second one. Second and the last problem for general mathematics. Problem number 2. Let f of n equals n cubed and define the function g of n by the formula g of n equals f of n plus 1 minus f of n. What is the average of the 10 numbers g of 0, g of 1, up to g of 9? Okay, so now in this problem, like with what we did in the first one, so we're going to use uh, the functional equation na given, okay, that is... Again, let me rewrite it. Yung g of n is equal to f of n plus 1. Okay, f of n plus 1 minus f of n. See that? Okay, take note. Again, ang kailangan natin is to get the average of g of 0. Okay, g of 1 up to g of 9. See that? Okay, so since including 0... Okay, so there are 10. Okay, 10 lahat yan. Okay, yun ang kailangan natin. Now, for us to attain g of 0, okay, for us to have g of 0, so we're going to let n equal 0. Okay, so meaning to say, if n is 0, so I'm going to have g of 0 equals, okay, using this functional equation, f of 0 plus 1. And that will be f1. See that? Minus, again, f of n, my n is 0, so I'm going to have f of 0. Okay? Okay. Now, actually, pwede ka na makakuha ng value nito so since f of n is equal to n cubed. So, pwede mong sabihin, uh, 1 cubed minus 0 cubed. See that? Or 1. Okay, pwede mong gawin yun. Okay? So, my 1 ka na dyan. Alright. Next. So, to have g of 1, so like what we did here, we're going to let n equals 1. So that is g of 1, okay, equals f of 1 plus 1, so that will be f of 2, minus f of 1. See that? So that will be 2 cubed, minus, okay, using this uh, first given, which is f of n equals n cubed, minus 1 cubed. Or if you want, 2 cubed minus 1, that will become 7. Okay, this one is 1. See that? Okay, so if you want to continue, sige, okay lang. So, f of n, letting n equals 2, so I'm going to have uh, g of 2 equals f of n plus 1. So, that will be 3, right? Minus f of 2. See that? So, take note, ang um, f of 3 natin, if n is 3, so that will be 3 cubed, okay, minus cubed. And we know 27 minus 8 is uh, 19. See that? Okay, there you go. So, if we're going to continue that, okay, so up to g of 9, okay, by letting n equals 9, so what we're going to have is f of 10 minus f of 9. Right? So, lalabas, meron kang 1,000 dyan, or 10 cubed, alright? 10 cubed 
minus ang um, 9 cube is 9 cube ilan yan so that will be uh, 81 times 9 so 81 times 9 is 729 right and 1000 minus 729 is 271 there you go okay actually uh, take look take look uh, take a look at this it is shortcut actually kahit hindi ko na to ipakita but since uh, I'm not, uh, most of you kung trinay yung isolve to ginawa niyo to right so nag nagkaroon kayo ng value na 1 plus 7 plus 19 then whatever is a uh, 4 cube minus 3 cube up to 271 then that's it that's the idea you're just going to divide it by 10 again okay lang yan but take note uh, ang tendency dun kasi, ma-careless kayo, magkamali kayo ng add, magkamali kayo ng subtract, okay. But take note, my shortcut to. So, like I said, no need for this. So, now, take a look at this. So, take note, average, ba? So, i-add mo lang lahat yan, okay? I-add ko lang lahat yan. So, from g of 0 to g of 1 up to g of 9. Okay, pag in ko yan, look at this. F of 1 tas ito, negative f of 1, they will just cancel each other. See that? f of 2 and negative f of 2, they will just cancel each other. So, 2 cube minus 2 cube. See that? Similarly, mga cancel yung f of 3, may f of 3 dyan. Then, prior to this, I have uh, f of 9 dito. Right? May f of 9 dyan. Minus f of 8. So, mga cancel yung f of 9. Right? So, what will be left here is, okay, ang matitira lang dyan, is just uh, f of 10 and f of 0. See that? Okay, ang matitira lang dyan, once again, ang f of 10, which is 10 cube and 0 cube. There you go. So, therefore, so, yung sum natin, yung numerator natin is just uh, 10 cube, alright, plus or minus, 0 cube all over 10. See that? And we know 10 cube minus 0 cube is 1,000 over 10. Therefore, clearly, ang average natin na hinahanap, yung answer natin on this problem number 2 is 100. There you go. Okay. So, pretty simple, right? So, I hope you learned something on this episode. Okay, dun sa dalawang problems natin that involves functional equation. So, kung hindi ka pa member ng Facebook group namin, okay, Learn Math with Sir Mark, uh, join na, okay, public group yon, okay, in which you can see a lot of uh, materials there, mathematical stuff. And of course, don't forget to subscribe on my channel and that's it, Learn Math with Sir Mark. Okay, I'm going to see you next time. Keep safe.